Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video I will discuss my preparation strategies for MCMCQ exam. So I passed my MCQ exam last year in July with about two and a half months preparation time. Um, I took my exam in the middle of July and it was around middle of April when I decided to go for the exam. So um, before going into the details, one thing that I would like to clarify about MCMCQ exam and how it is different from other exam is um, the preparation for MC MCQ exam is multi-layered, okay? Uh, and what do I mean by multi-layered? So, because I took PLIV1 exam and MRCP1 exam as well before taking my MC MCQ exam, and the difference that I found between those two exam and the MC exam is for both for PLIV1 and for uh, MRCP1, I did one question bank and that was it, okay? doing one question bank was more than enough for me to for cracking those two exams so for plab one exam it was plabable plabable almost cover everything about plab one exam some people also do plab keys but it's it's almost the same concepts as plab, plab one but they are written in more sort of bullet forms um and then for mrcp1 exam i did pass medicine the question bank uh and that was enough for passing mrcp1 as well Okay, but for MC MCQ exam, I found out that the preparation for this exam can't be covered from one question bank. Okay, question bank is just a part of your preparation. It does not cover your entire, you know, um, your entire syllabus or your entire preparation for the MCQ exam. Okay, so starting from the first layer of the exam, the first thing that you need to do if you are thinking about taking uh, MC MCQ exam is to read the MC MCQ handbook. It's a very small book, uh, I think around 300 odd MCQs. And it sort of gives you like an overview of the exam format, the question style, what is MC expecting from you in this exam, okay? So there are around 300, um, around 300 MCQs and then their explanations. So it's, it's a good book for you to get sort of get uh the gist of the exam okay so it should take you i did it uh completed the entire book in five days uh and i think it should take you know it shouldn't take more than a week okay so after the mc mcq handbook the next layer is doing you know one question bank so there are quite a few question banks for mc mcq exam uh personally i selected amidex mcqs because i could uh, I read good reviews. One of my friends uh, recommended it. So I started with MEDX MCQs and um, because it's quite a big question bank with, uh, you know, questions from separately from each different subject like, you know, um, neurotology, um, gastroenterology. So each different topic, each different subject it has its own sort of, you know, section and then you need to like read the uh, explanation with the mcq so it will take you around one month for me it took 30 to 35 days okay so now you have done your mc mcq handbook you have done your question bank the next step is doing recalls and recalls are very very important i can't stress this enough don't think about taking the exam if you haven't done recalls okay now the best guidance is doing uh, last one year recalls before your exam. Uh, but for me, I didn't have much time. And so I did uh, last six months recalls. Um, personally, I joined like um, I was in a telegram group and uh, where the candidates sort of got together and did uh, one Zoom meeting every day to discuss like one PDF file. So for example, um, our exam was in July. So um, they would discuss, let's say February, first half they would do on one day, it would be like a two hours meeting. And then the next day they would do the uh, February second half MCQs, something like that. So I joined their uh, Zoom meetings every morning, like for two hours, because I was in the UK time zone at that time. So they were sort of, most of the candidates were in Australia and they used to do um, the, um, you know, the recall MCQs uh, meeting you know, around evening in Australia. But for me, it was morning 8 a.m. in the UK. So I would start my morning um, attending the recall uh, discussion meeting. And once the meeting was ended, then I would also go through the recalls um, by myself and then, you know, sort of 
uh, because you see the recall PDFs are not like QBanks. It's like they've just written, you know, uh, the question stem, the sentences are not complete. Sometimes you don't have all the options available. So I would just like sort of revise that topic going to, because you don't have explanation with the recall. So you sort of um, read that topic in your question bank or whatever book you are following. So just go through that, you know, that topic, or I would like study the guidelines associated with that topic. So for example, RACGP guidelines, um, um, RCH guidelines for pediatrics and things like that. So in the last six months, I did uh, the recall questions. Um, and for ethics, I also did like the 100 cases uh, by Codenote Fisher. So that was an additional thing that I did in addition to recalls um, in the last half of my preparation. And then John Murta, I didn't do, I didn't study a lot from John Murta. I only did like selected few topics those topics that were repeated again and again in recalls uh, are the topics, topics that I thought I needed a little bit more information on. I only did those topics from John, John Murtaq and they were hardly like 10 to 15 topics. So I didn't do a lot of, you know, I didn't do a lot of theory studying on its own during my preparation. So I started with the MCQ handbook, which is MCQs like, like uh, MCQs and their explanation then Amedics, which is again MCQs and their explanation, and then recalls, which were recall MCQs, and then I would dive into the uh, explanation myself and study the, uh, you know, the associated guidelines. So I didn't do like theory, uh, studying theory, like take a detailed book like John Murtagh and start from page one and study till page, you know, uh, last page or study till the middle. I don't think it's a very effective preparation. And I think it should be avoided. You need to do focused and targeted study for this exam. Um, because if you just start accumulating knowledge in journal, I don't think it's going to help with this exam or any exam um, that you are about to take because every exam has its own style, has its own particular you know, patterns and you have to prepare according to that pattern to pass that exam. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I'll see you soon with another video discussing uh, the MC MCQ exam and I'm also planning of starting a series uh, discussing different you know um, recalls MCQs related to each subject like psychiatry um, ethics uh, etc to give you an idea uh, of how this exam is and how you should best prepare for this exam so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments and I'll see you soon with another video.